starting the season and that anticipation of finally getting that on the field, figure out what, what this team is all about, your team is all about? Nah, the day I get old, I probably don't need to be here no more, honestly. Is there nah, I'm doing it. nerves, butterflies? I mean, are you you see it on the calendar, you've been preparing for it for months now, it's been sitting there, but that, is there still that kind of feeling? Um, I can say it to an extent. I'm just, I'm ready, honestly, just tired of waiting. That part get old a little bit, <laughs> right. waiting around and sitting for the games to come, but it's here now, so I'm excited. Is it more curiosity or anticipation of what this offense is going to look like when, when it gets out there with, in a real game? I would say anticipation. I feel like I'm excited about the group. And I'm just ready to be out there with them. I mean, we don't have a lot of fun training, but we kind of want to show what we got to. Is there any extra butterflies now that it's the first time you're doing it with another team that's not the one that you started your career with? No, nah, I don't know if it was really butterflies in the first place. I couldn't say it was extra. It's, I'm really just ready to go. Like, we don't put in so much work. The guys are trying so hard, so I think it's just more excitement, not really butterflies. But players come and go, big names from the Broncos, but their defense somehow just seems to always be one of the top ten in the league. What makes them so special in your opinion? It's the NFL, you know what I mean? Every team got great players. Like you said, they come and go, but they always find a way to play together, play hard, get to the ball. They got a ball, ball hawking safety back there. That's why I always keep the group together. So they just got a lot of tough players, a lot of good players. They know how to make plays on the ball. That's opposite with Devontae Adams and how much attention he draws. How excited are you to get out there and have some of those one-on-one -on -one opportunities? Man, super excited. Not even just Tay. It's just so many, so many guys that can go out there and win one-on-one. -on -one. So I just, I want to be one of those guys. You know, if he getting doubled, I got to carry my weight. So. Could this be the, the deepest receiving core you've been a part of? Actually, again, at the end of the season. Let me see. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I'm excited. I don't want to jinx anything. You know, actually, again later. Though. How do the skill sets of, of you guys complement one another? A bunch of guys who really truly know how to get open. Like not just saying that, but like they all have something different. Like they know how to create separation, know how to catch the ball, run with the ball after they catch it. So there's a lot of good receivers in the room. Even the names that you guys probably don't mention a lot. Like they they can go out there and give you a hundred too. So like I said, man, I'm so excited to go out there and play with you. Game one through seventeen is everyone every game is important, but kicking off the season with the off the right foot, how big is that for you and as a player and as as a team? I mean, we definitely want to start one to know. You know, we can go out there, play hard. That's probably one of the, the best feelings, just being one to know every week. So I would say it's super important. We can go out there and try to play our, put our best foot forward. What are the conversations like just in the receiving room, and have they kind of molded the longer that you've been here as we get closer to that game? Uh, man, we talk about everything. You know, like, so we definitely trying to build the family atmosphere in there, and hopefully it's showing the field. Do you feel like at, you know, at 26, you know, heading into your fifth year, this is your real prime you're entering now, heading into this season? I wouldn't say it's my real prime. I just, every year I want to be better than the last year, you know? So from my rookie year to my second year, all the way to now, like I tried to get progressively better every year and hopefully the trend don't stop. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Kobe.